Okay, I'm sorry. I think again there has to be certain issues. Uh, that's all. I won't take anything further. We are having exams on 30th and 31st. I request all you to register and take maximum benefit of this session. Thank you for being with us. Namaskar, dhanyavad. Okay, I should go ahead. Rakesh. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks so much. Thanks for being there with us for so long. Please go ahead. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Chauham, sir. <coughs> You can start it, sir. Very, uh, very. Uh, my voice is clear. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Clear. Clear. Okay, can I start? Yes, sir. Clear, sir. Clear, sir. Start. Start. Yes, sir. Okay. Good morning, all the coaches participating here this online coaches development program. I hope you all are well in this difficult time of COVID-19. Myself, P. S. Chauhan. Volleyball coach from Sports Authority of India is here once again in front of you. Very, very general topic that whether we are we should change our something strategy, method, or we should include some new system in our volleyball so that we can develop it, we can popularize it, and it will also strengthen our ranking in the world level, which as you know, at present it is more than 100. Whereas the question of at Asian level, we are struggling like anything now. You know the ranking in the last Asian game, what was there? But last medal which we won in the Asian champ, Asian Asian games, that was everybody knows in long back 1986 Asian game. After that, we are struggling like anything. So here I would like to present some concrete data in front of you and let us start the discussion that whether we should change something in our Indian volleyball to develop it, to improve it, to improve our volleyball or not. You all the learn and knowledgeable volleyball coaches, I need not to teach the history of volleyball since its invention as it is told to us, that is what invented by William G. Morgan during the year long back in 1895. But definitely, I would like to remember that great American missionary Mr. Harry Crow Buck, who was here in India and introduced the volleyball in my country during the year 1921 at YMCA College of Physical Education, Madras, now Chennai. That, that institution is still there. Yeah. The coaches, those who are attending, hear this course with their physical education background. The name of Harry Crow Buck is not new for them because he was the man who first established the physical education institution named after YMCA College of Physical Education, Madras. Because he was here, he was sent here by the missionary to popularize the YMCA movement. Because he was related to the physical education, that's why his passion towards the physical education was there and he established the first physical education. This physical education institution, where the volleyball was introduced first time during the year 1921, was not only the first of its kind in the country, but this institution was the first of its kind in the field of physical education in the entire South Asia. Since then, the volleyball started development in the country. But really, the real effort was made after independence, or you can say after the establishment of Volleyball Federation of India, which get momentum when after the 1961, when government established the Netaji Subhash National Institute of Sports at Patiala and started the diploma courses in the field of volleyball. Still it is going on there and produced the coaches. The government did not only produce the coaches, but also, but also created the post in the field of sports for coaches in central government department, in state government department, and various other department also. So volleyball, the development of volleyball get momentum in my country. But the present situation, we know that so many people that Volleyball Federal and Agencies, Volleyball Federation of India, its agency, state associations, other agencies, departments, coaches, work very hard for players for the development of this volleyball. But in spite of all these efforts made by various people and various agencies, it is the known fact to us today we are nowhere closer to our participation in the top class tournament of the world, forget about the winning, including a long day. We are nowhere. Our ranking is more than 100. See? So 
let us now start to think instead of blaming each other here and there it will not work let us start together from new things that i would like to discuss with you people that as i can understand the field of sports in my country or other otherwise the need of the hour for the development of volleyball is establishment of research wing don't be confused the research wing is the need of the hour what will be the research, job of the research wing that we will discuss and we will strengthen our volleyball information system without strengthening the volleyball information system without establishing the research wing in the field of volleyball for me it is not possible that we can develop our volleyball at any level yeah, getting the result here and there that is another thing that is the need of the hour so to strengthen my views i would like to produce here i would like to present here two example in front of you so that let us decide what we should why we required the these wings the volleyball information system as well as the research okay. these two examples are one i would like to quote here the 2009 world championship which was conducted at pune by the volleyball federation of india very nicely and why i am taking this championship because in junior category here we got the best ever result for the country the position of our team was fourth and the fourth position in that championship was considered as a best one and it was the fifth occasion for the indian volleyball that indian junior team participated in junior world championship fifth time the first time as many of you may be remembering it was in 1981 colorado spring usa where team got 11th position in the world championship but team qualified for that championship world championship in colorado spring because they won the medal in the asian championship and team was many of you may be aware abdul razak uday kumar silver valur dalil singh om prakash balkar singh chaman dhota gopal aram and so on. they were the players beautiful team that was the first occasion in junior category we we participated in the world championship the second time it was in 1995 1995 jor baru malaysia where indian team got ninth position in the junior world championship and team qualified because they won the silver medal in the asian championship and also won the six nation qualification tournament held somewhere in china and the position of the team was ninth and the team as we are aware was consist of surjit very good universal ravikant reddy a very good setter aman jobi rajesh was the blocker and ratanlal was the blocker they were the team and the coach of the team was none other than my favorite legendary all time great shri sham sundar rao ji he was the coach that was the first occasion when indian team got silver medal in asian junior championship the third time it was in 2003 tehran there also indian team got ninth position and team qualified for that world championship because of they won the silver medal in the asian championship that was the second silver medal for team and in world championship they got ninth he was the captain other than kishor from kerala shiva balan jay kumar natarajan from tamil nadu and vikram rahul from karnataka and the backbone of the team i can say kashi vishwanath raju from andhra pradesh the beautiful setter and arun jakmola the libro from uttarakhand now in services representing the services now he was the libro and the coach the chief coach of the team was my all weather friend dr m h kumara and i was the assistant coach along with kumara i got also opportunity to work with this beautiful team that time i was working with that team okay the, these were the three championship where world championship where indian team participated on the basis of its performance in the asian championship these were only the three ones there yeah. after that it was in 2005 visakhapatnam where team got also ninth vision chandar singh ji was the coach and team participated in visakhapatnam junior world championship in 2005 because of the host they were the host not on the basis of their performance in the asian championship 
it was i think fifth position or so and fifth time it was 2009 at pune and i, I can recall the days it was held there from 31st of july to 9th of august 2009 and the position again i am saying was impressive fourth and because of the live telecast on the doordarshan it reaches the masses and the volleyball federation of india fulfill its aim that to attract the younger generation towards the game during during that period so now i would like to come on exactly on my topic now you listen it was fourth position very impressive because 16 team were participating there as usual in the world championship most of the world championship and the system of tournament in the volleyball is such a beautiful that in this championship also world championship also all the team played eight matches it might have in first position brazil maybe second position cuba third position argentina or maybe fourth position india or maybe 16th position greece 15th position tunisia 14th position belarus or maybe uh, 13th position that egypt was there every team got a chance to play eight matches every team played eight, eight matches indian team also played eight matches please remember carefully listen carefully won four and lost four position was fourth they got a chance to play eight matches they played eight matches won four and lost four and in total they played 32 sets out of those 32 sets they won 16 set and lost 16 set equal 50 50% and in total you can remember or you can also note it down and in total they won 687 point 687 point was won by india and they lost 676 point just they managed to win 11 point more in that championship when i bifurcate in, in the point getting components the techniques and others in attack indian team got 376 point and lost 396 point they were behind minus and one thing i would like to clear here i might have been i will take the name of many many people during my lecture my attention is very much clear nothing there don't take it otherwise it is the part of my lecture take it as a part of my lecture anyhow in block point india got 79 point in block and they lost 96 point in block more point they lost and in service third point getting technique service they won 29 point and lost 24 point they were ahead of than their opponent 29 point only in service thanks to nvin jakavraja who alone won 14 point in service he got 14 point in service and he was a number one in service in that world championship anyhow two things the most important thing was i would like to it is really really hats off for the work of the coaches because we know when we are participating at international level our contribution to the opponent is our error most of the time it is the error we are means we are what i want to say in most of the championship we are committing more error than our counterpart than our opponents in the entire championship or it may be a individual match whatever is there here thanks to the training of the coaches and i would like to say who were the player there gurinder was the man uh, universal there nuin jakab raja mandeep singh now in ngc and vaishnav and uh, navdeep was the blocker balwinder was the setter and one surinder was the libero and coach once again dr m h kumara and assistant coach was dwinder chauhan from mbachap anyhow in this championship they work in such a way that they were able to reduce the error of our team indian team got 205 points with opponent error and they lost they committed only 164 164 error in the entire championship a huge difference of 41 point that was the main reason really by a reduction in the error we were able to perform better that was the hard work of the coaches i can say here when well, if you will see the bifurcation of this the main player was the gurinder gurinder got 131 point in attack and because of 131 point in attack he was number 3 in attack point in that world championship if any 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 indian player in attack if they are getting third position they are third rank in the world championship 
in the junior world championship it can be considered a very 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 good performance it looks very good but when i saw calculated the total event uh, total attempt of the gurinder it was 266 266 attempt 131 point what it means two point less than his ability finishing ability of 50 percent he did not got even a complete 50 percent point whatever he attempt because his attempt was more that's why he got the 131 point and you can imagine 50 percent finishing ability by the universal can be considered as a very good performance or average Another thing, forget about the block and combined block or single block. He was manageable in the 14 point in the block. That is another thing. I don't want to discuss it here. But the most worried part was two for the Gurinder. One was he was no doubt number three in the attack point in that world championship, but he was number one in attack error. That was the worry part. And the second worry part from the Gurinder side, I also discussed with that boy after that here at Shimla, where he was on the way to participate in one of the tournament in Shimla. So, most worried part was his service. He almost participated, he was inside the court, out of, as I already told, Indian team played 32 sets, he was almost for 31 sets inside. Only for one set, he was sitting outside. That also, because I was told by the coaches, he was not feeling well and uh, some kind of temperature was there, whatever is there. So 31 set he played and he got only one point in service to the team. The universal playing eight matches, 31 sets. If he is getting only one point in service to the team in the entire championship, it should be the worried part for the Indian world. I'm not criticizing the boy, I'm producing the fact. He's a good boy for me and a trainee of Mona Greta, there is no doubt. Yes, anyhow. Another thing that was the most worried part, you just see here. Next, I analyzed when Nuin Jakab Raja. Nuin Jakab Raja, as usually as we see, he is very good in service reception and he was number three in that world championship, whereas the service reception is concerned. It should be. The number three in world championship, the reception is a very good performance. That is the reason we know his strength is service as well as service reception. Because of these two very good things, he is getting most of the time. He plus point, it is this is plus point for his selection in any team. And that is the reason because of his service reception ability. If you are remembering a little, when the theory of reception topic, one of the subtopics, was presented by Sri Dharanji, he shows. Many, many photographs. Among them was one Vin Jacob Raja, fully stretching forward, extending his arm, playing the volley, uh, playing the ball with big pass. That was surely the service reception. That's why he shown. Otherwise, he, because he is very good in service reception. Okay, he was there. The, and the other strong point of the Vin Jacob Raja is service. As I told, he got 14 point in service in entire championship. Those because of those 14 point. He was the number one server in that world championship. The worried part for me is he committed most number of error in that championship. Or in the other simple words, you can say he was number one in service point or he was number one in service error also. Point number two. Please, please uh, remember it. The third man player was Mandeep Singh, who is now in ONGC, that very good boy from Rajasthan, Mandeep Singh. When I saw Mandeep Singh in the first match, when the team entered in the first match, I was watching at my home. I was worried what the coaches are doing because he knows Mandeep is very poor in service reception. Why he is so poor? Because previously he was playing as a blocker. He came first time in the national camp along with me in 2005 in youth team. I tried to convert, I converted him as, as a universal and because he could not improve his the reception, but here the coaches used him as a attacker. So I was worried, oh my God, the opponent will target him. His service reception is not good. But really, once again, congratulations and really hats off for the good work of the coaches. They improved 
the first pass of the mandeep and he was number 5 in that championship in whereas the service reception is concerned one receiver the attacker was number 3 the another was number 5 in that world championship that was the strength of the team that was the strength of the team yeah. but the worried part from the mandeep side for me was his attack he played almost 30 set inside the championship inside the court he was for 30 set inside the entire championship he played but his attack point were only 57 30 set 57 attack point what it means no his contribution from the attack side was not even a two point in a set it was not then i thought i he may his attempt may be very very less because bolwinder has not fitted the ball to him he fitted most of the ball to gurinder and navinja kavraja but when i calculated his attempt in the attack it were 135 out of 135 attempt in the attack 57 finishing the, he is finishing the ball what is the average less than 45% if a man attacker of the team finishing ability percentage is less than 45% in any championship it cannot be considered a very good percentage or very good performance these things are the worried part three things. now i was talking to you the establishment of the research wing is must if anybody is thinking this is research no this is not research made by me this is simply match analysis it is match analysis research start after this how it will start whose work is this first of all i would like to hear mention here one thing sorry i am little bit forgetting it daljeet ji my friend chief coach anais patiala his his lecture was performance analysis in performance analysis he says many things okay, how you can use the methods to analyze the performance he shows some paper he shows videography can be used he shows observation method can be used he tells he told us very nicely that some chart can be prepared and you can utilize also this and one thing also he told you have to utilize also you can also utilize for analysis score sheet score sheet is one of the beautiful score sheet in any game in the volleyball by analyzing the score sheet we can find out a lot of things from there but where is this analysis is concerned i used news bulletin because the coaches who work at the initial level with the indian team you know at the entry level competition they are posting every day the news bulletin where the match information all there individual and the match information is there after gathering after collecting all the news bulletin from that championship by my resources i analyze this it was also produce uh, one research paper in scientific journal published from national institute of sports patiala quarterly that the performance of indian team in 2009 world championship that is another now i would like to say what the search wing will do the search wing will find out first it is their duty at this collection what i am talking you data it is the duty of volleyball information system which is rarely rarely we are using this one this is the duty of volleyball for, uh, information system people who should gather this kind of information pass on it to research wing and research wing will what they will do what is their job first let me take the gurinder gurinder was number 3 in the world championship in the attacking point then he was number one attack error they will try to find out why he is committing more number of attack error why then for me they can divide the game of the vrinder into three parts he played then in three or first part they will say where he is committing the uh, most number of error in the initial state of the match or in the middle of the match or in the closing concluding part of the match in very very simple way if it is in the concluding part of the match he is committing most number of attack error then one thing came in mind it may be any other problem but one thing came in mind that physical efficiency of the gurinder is very less maybe i am just giving the example i am not saying that then another thing they will do a research why he is not taking point in service what's wrong with the service he jump and service we know whether something is wrong with his uh, approach 
whether something is wrong with his takeoff, whether something is wrong with his action, or it is something wrong in the placement of, in the direction of the ball and placement of his service, what is the problem? Or he is unable to produce the more power. After finding out these things, that they will make the research, then they will come to the remedies how to overcome with this kind of fault. This research work should be passed on to the coach in the next camp. The next camp coach should work with the consultation of these experts from the research wing. Then only there is a chances of improvement of the volleyball individually as well as the team in the country. That is my view. I'm giving you an example. And then another part is the Nguyen Jacob Raja is there. The Nguyen Jacob Raja, service reception, okay. Service, why he's committing, he's taking many, many points. Why he's committing most number of errors? Is something is wrong with his takeoff? Is his position or the takeoff is not good? We have to change his, uh, the position from zone number six to let it be here and there, one and a half meter here and there. Or we will change his landing position, whether we are landing very much inside, taking more broad jump or not taking broad jump, whether he is taking more risk in power without reducing the power and his ability in the service through which he is getting the point. We should find out, those research wing will find out what is the fault with the new service and we will try to reduce his error, then only that boy will improve. Same thing with the Mandeep. Mandeep is finishing ability percentage. Mandeep is having a two meter height. Now we, away from the Indian volleyball team and whatever is there, but nobody find out there what is the fault with his attack. Nobody try to do that. I am afraid if this kind of information was with the coach who conducted the next camp for these boys and work on this, we are not working. So this is the need of the hour to develop the Indian volleyball, to strengthen the volleyball information system and establishment of the research wing is the must. I am talking not only the very, very big, I am talking these things are within the, can be established or can be produced within the sources of our Indian volleyball. I am not talking about big, big scientific sport, big, big machines, ball feeding machines and all these things. I'm not talking about that. I am talking within the, what we, what we can do within the sources of Indian volleyball. That we are not doing here. Another thing, I would like to quote here another example. Another, another example here. That is one of the senior world, senior Asian championship where Indian team participated and played a match, I analyzed one match, and played a match against Japan. Indian team lost 3-0 to Japan, 3-0. When, when I saw 3-0, it may be a one-sided match. No, gentlemen, it was not one-sided match. When I saw the score, 25-23, 25-23, 25 in all the three sets, then I realized, no, it was very close fought match against Japan. Although we lost in the state three, but it was, all the set was close. Now you think, we know in volleyball, when the opponent are making 25 points, after that, you cannot make any point. Nobody can make any point. Increase in their losing team cannot make any point. Definitely, the score might have been 24-23, 24-23, 24-23 in all the three sets. Sure. Forget about winning the set. We were unable to make it even a deuce or what we call is the 24 all. Why? Not even a single set. In all the three sets, the score was 24, 23. It, we were unable to make it a deuce or 24 all. Why? It. And it looks generally more than physical, technical, or technical problem, it looks psychological problem more because it has been absorbed at so many times. We are having the experience of so many times. This at the crucial stage of the match or at the crucial stage of the set, our player are not taking much risk. They are playing safe. Safe, why they are playing safe? Because they are, there is anxiety. There is a fear of committing the mistake and losing the point. And they thought, if I will commit a mistake, lose a point, lose a set, the team members, including the coach, will blame that particular person because of you, we lost. So they played safe, the opponent gets the advantage of that, 
take advantage of that and snatch the set as well as the match from us. Yeah. Or clearly in the uh, language of the psychology, if I can use here, that is the lake of killer instinct at the crucial stage of match or set. Lack of killer instinct. Then the question arises. Really, if this is the psychological problem, or really if it is such kind of problem with the Indian team, whether we can overcome with this kind of situation, maybe with the help of psychologist, or maybe without the help of psychologist by the coach himself, or me, yes, it is possible in training. We can overcome with this kind of situation. This is one part here. Now I would like to come with again the data of the team. You see, as we know already so many times it is discussed during this course also there are four components through which a team can get the point one is the attack most of the point we are getting in the attack the second is the block service third one and the fourth one is point getting by the opponent error when i try to analyze the match this one you see indian team got more block points than japanese team in that particular japan is having less block point we are having more block point and we are not having even a single point in service. Again, service was exposed. Not even a single point in service. But in error here also in this match, we committed less error. When I combined or joined all together, these three components of point getting, one is the opponent error, one is the block, the third one is the service of both the team, the score was equal. It was equal. The only difference, the only difference there was in attack point. And when I saw, now we listen carefully. When I saw the attack finishing ability percentage, it was much, much better than Japanese team by the India. It was much, much better. Finishing ability percentage, I am. For example, for example Indian team got 20 ball for attack in a particular duration of match or the set whatsoever is there. In the particular duration of the game, we can say, if they are getting 20 ball with 65% finishing ability altogether, collective, collective effort, with 65% of finishing ability, they got 13 points out of 20 attempts. 65% finishing ability. In the same duration of time, in the same duration of the set, in which duration they got 20 ball, their opponent Japan team got 25 ball for attack. And 16% of their ability, finishing ability, Japan team got 15 point. How much point India team got? 13 point. Finishing ability, the ability 65%. How much ball they got? 20 ball. Finishing ability of Japan, 60%. But in the same duration, they got more number of Balls as, in, as compared to 20 in India, 25 by Japan. Finishing ability is less, but they got two point more. Then I thought, well, what happens? Why the Indians player are getting less number of ball for attack? Then when I try to analyze the non-point getting technique or the sporting technique, you can say, especially the service reception, the picture was very much clear in front of. Me. In those three sets, as Japan got 75 point, India got 23, 23, 23, 69 point. Japan team executed 74 service on India. Listen here, 74 service on it. With few error, the accurate reception of the Indian team was only 27. When we are talking about accurate reception, what it means? Generally, we know already, we need not to explain much. When we are talking about accurate reception, it means the pass is at such a position to the setter from where the setter is able to create any kind of combination, any number of combination, or in some way we can say the pass is at the such a position from where the setter can set the ball to any of his attacker, or maybe he is able to attack on his own if he is in the front zone and so that is accurate pass only 27 accurate pass by india in that match and in opposite to this when i analyze the japan's team indian team executed 67 service surprisingly with no error 
not even a single error by indian in that uh, set in that match and accurate pass of the japanese team was 49 see clear difference of 22 22 accurate passes that was the reason that was the reason the most of the time our pass was not good indian team was pushing the ball only to the opponent court for open spies you are say or easy they were compelled to cross it easily without any attack to the japanese japanese team the correct pass was more and that was the reason they got more number of attack attempt now you think i would like to listen to you you just think in another way only here on this point if our service might have been little effective and we were able to reduce the accurate pass of the japanese from 49 to that would be 41 or 42 something like that one if our service reception might have been little better or improved on that particular day and our accurate reception might have been from 27 to 34 or 35 you can imagine the result of the match might have been entirely different or in our favor again what it means again as we are talking since 21 days in so many lectures that it expose once again our service reception as well as the service also it is clear indication to us very very clear indication to us that to strengthen the service reception and service as per this analysis of this again whether this is the research work no this is not this is simple analysis of match done by me i am not a very big researcher yeah, it was done by me but even this this is the work of actually whose work is this the volleyball information system people you might have listen carefully you should be i think so at the lecture of the shridharan ji where he was telling every team in the international label are with 10 or more than 10 people along with in the group of the team other than the player 10 or more than 10 people there who are they many of them are related to the volleyball information system some of them are related to the research wing faculty situation and i would like to quote here one example in 1998 seoul olympic we were told the gold medalist team was the team catch rally was there in the team the player of the century he was there in the team 88 olympic won the gold medal along with the, that time only 12 player was allowed along with the 12 player of usa team 22 people were accompanying the team and really really i don't have any hesitation to say i cannot count who those who expert will be 22 i cannot count really i tried so many time with this physiotherapist doctor two assistant coach one trainer this and that, but i could not reach at 22 point who those people might have been along with their team this is happening and how many people are with us i am remembering one thing in the uh, asian championship youth asian championship i was fixing the camera nobody was there and there referee was searching me to signing the score sheet i jumped on the this barricading and landed on the court okay yes i am here i can sign it now he was why are you are coach i was fixing the camera nobody is there what to do yeah such thing is happening so this is the need of the if i am talking about, uh, i was talking about the match so that is the simple analysis which I, what i am producing in front of you it should be collected by the people related to the vis volleyball information system at that yes i know the very very few people one or two people you can say those who are developing the software for match analysis yeah but what kind of information we required from this match analysis it should be discussed with the coaches of the team and then this data should be uh, collected and goes to the research wing they will search for let let it be this match why the indian team are losing in service reception what is the reason 
it is not the coach cannot think alone it is the duty of the surgeon they will analyze the whatever the information they will get it from the volleyball information system make a research and give that research to the coaches and they will implement it during the in their volleyball or in their camp or wherever they are working what is the reason we are not getting more number of point in the service they will made a research it is their duty yeah. then they will come with that research and the coach will work accordingly that's why i was telling i tried to convince you people the need of the hour within our resources i am not talking about very very big things what is happening in the world of volleyball world of sports i am talking simply you just establish the wall strengthen the volleyball information system uh, establish the with select some few expert and establish a research wing do this kind of research and definitely it will help why it is i think one day i have given you two examples now uh, when my friend kumara was in his lecture his lecture was as you are aware last week it was psychological preparation of the team or psychological preparation of the player and so on he coded in his example the name of their matsu a japanese women team coach and he told how the captain of his team women team japanese women team in 1964 olympic when the training was going on there he punished because she was not taking much interest in the game in the training that daimatsu what did my topic is not that one what he did that time gathering the information about the opponent yes another thing is there if you have listened carefully uh, this uh, such a day day before yesterday the lecture of my friend muhammad kalandar from bangalore is uh, as his topic was preparation of team for the competition there he told you have to adjust your this one training as per the ability of opponent how we came to know the ability of opponent that's what i am talking here that's why that thing i am talking here they are much in 1964 the japanese team women coach sent then gathering the information that those days were not because 1964 olympic was in tokyo where the volleyball was introduced first time everybody knows he sent a group of people maybe 3 4 to ussr now russia there to collect some kind of information regarding the ussr women team whatever he required i don't know what information they gathered from there then ussr they were there in russia people they gathered the information regarding the ussr women team came back pass on it to or they might have been made research or whatever is there but this information was with the they amatsu the coach of the japanese team then now see he was having the information of the opponent team accordingly he plan his training and he plan his strategy he plan his everything and before the final match in that world champ in that olympic before the final he predict the starting six of the ussr women team he says as per the my information whatever i we gather from there their coach should play with this starting six player this should be their formation and again he predict if this will happen the ussr team will play as per my prediction their team will be as per my prediction i am going to win in a straight set and that thing happened why it happened because of the information regarding the ussr team and japan team won in straight set he was all right he was proven right why because the volleyball information system kind of wing that time in 1964 gather the information regarding the opponent team regarding the ussr team and pass on to their coaches they made a research plan accordingly trained accordingly and won the gold medal in the olympic so i am not talking about that this volleyball information system people should gather the information and analyze the match analysis only of the indian team they should also analyze the various team of the world and accordingly for the world team how to beat them what we should do with them it should be passed on to the research wing they will decide it 
another funny example you see i would like to hear code here for you why we required this thing why we required to strengthen my views in 2003 kumara sir may be listening today myself and kumara sir was as i already told was along with the indian junior team in junior world championship and as usually you know in any international championship especially at the world championship you are getting the fixture minimum two month and two month two and a half month before you are knowing minimum two month before your pool which teams are in your pool and which date you are playing the match and what is the timing of your match four o'clock five o'clock six o'clock in the evening or maybe whatever is there schedule match schedule is two month minimum two month before so two months before minimum i think so we were knowing we are playing our first match against germany what we were knowing about the germany nothing you are not knowing anything we were not even knowing what was their position in the european european championship so we planned what we was knowing about the european game european game as we learn is a powerful game they will play high ball the service will be very power they are very good in block don't try to make any combination in the mid in the middle play extreme this and that so we planned our strategy our training according to as we were knowing the european game there when we reached there there what happens you see listen carefully i am giving this example not because the we were there along with the team i am giving this example because of to strengthen my views what should we should do say my topic there as you are aware most of you those who work with the national team and participated in the international level at international level there is a rule on which court you are going to play a match that court you will get a training time of 1 hour on that particular court same was there the next day we were about to play against germany their training time was 4 to 5 4 to 5 o'clock in the evening and our training time was 5 to 6 so we decided we will reach early in the hall and we'll watch the germany team in training and then at, at least we can get something and we can plan for it when we enter inside the hall they immediately realize german team realize ah indian team is there they stop their training the organizer came to us go outside this is not your time we told we are sitting no they will not play you cannot see the germany team that way those people are reacting we were not allowed to see even the training of the german team there but by the time sorry to say uh, what uh, i don't know i which word i should use but thoda chori chori i try to see them and i shocked one of their player was executing without knowing anything he was imitating the slide attack one leg attack from zone number 2 going from 3 to 2 and he was not perfect in that and from other side their blocker was take imitating him or moving with him for blocking action i was puzzled by what that gentleman is doing he don't know what the coach is why the coach is doing this kind of practice and all no idea next day what happened we lost in four set to germany in a first match there after post match protocol as usually we were going and shaking hand with the our opponents the germany coach the germany coach told us you see coaches there are some changes in your team myself and kumara sir was looking at each other what kind of changes he is talking about i asked what kind of changes you are talking about coach yeah he says last month one month before you were for exposure tour listen you were for exposure tour in tunisia and egypt yes we were there yeah. and whatever the team was participating in tunisia and egypt there is three changes in your team my god we prepare our team as we were knowing the european game he was knowing the faces of our player that is the information technology and the requirement of the search week he was knowing the faces he knows three because after coming back from tunisia and egypt the selection trial were conducted and we changed few players and he was knowing this 
So then I realized why he was, the blocker was imitating a non-technical person with slide attack. He was giving a training how to stop Kishore, our captain, because you know he is very good. He was very good in slide attack. So he, they were giving the training how to stop that, how to move along with him when the Kashi will use him. That kind of information is required, not only of the Indian team, but also from the opponent team. Yeah. Another thing, another example, I would like to quote it, how uh, much lacking we are here. From myself itself, I, another one, I was working as a chief coach of the Indian youth team in 2005. Thanks to Volleyball Federation of India to believe me and give me assignment, not only assignment, but opportunity, I can say, to work with the Indian youth team in 2005. And in 2003, as we know, the Asian Junior Championship was conducted at Vishakhapatnam in India itself. Now, India won that Asian Championship. Sridharji was the coach, and uh, this it was the team of Arjuna Wadi, Sanjay Fogat, Kamraj, Ritesh Nair, Dinesh, and all these things. Uh, Shri Khan, sorry, Shri Khan also, or uh, that gentleman in HSDC, Jitinder, they were the players there. They won. In 2005, when I was working at Bangalore with the youth team, I thought one thing. I collected the O2 from the site of AVC of the 2003 Asian Championship. I found in the O2 of all the teams, all the team, O2 bis of all the team, I found many players, those who participated in 2003 Asian Championship, were also eligible to participate in 2005 Asian Championship as per their age, as per their date of birth. So the idea came in my mind, let me analyze the matches of the Vishakha Patnam Asian Championship there and let me see how many of these players are playing in the Asian Championship. Possibilities are there year they will be representing their country and then some extent i can analyze how to play against china iran and so on and so on. i will try to that when i asked the competent authority you can understand it very nicely to supply me the videos of those championship that championship they say they don't have they don't have even a single match recording that was the answer what to do so if there might have been the volleyball information system, they are having the office and all these things, these all record might have been there, and I might have been asked the research wing also to give me the clip, analyze this thing, give me the situation, what is there, that how, I, I, how many of them are playing in the teams, how many of them are, are eligible, so and so. Instead of me, so I was helpless. I was blindly giving the training to my team. Thank God we won the bronze medal and qualify for the world champion and thing. That is another thing. This is the thing that we required here. Yeah. Now, I don't know whether I will be able to convince you people that what is the basic requirements for our modern volleyball. That is, again, I would like to say, the establishment of the research wing, the establishment of the strengthening the volleyball information system. In this way, if we will be able to do this, we will be able to improve our volleyball that much, I am sure, and improve our ranking at the world level, which is already, I told, it is more than 100. And what kind of research is going on in our country? Few years back, I was asked to attend a seminar which was on modern trends in physical education and sports. I thought, okay, is it a three-day seminar? Okay, I, I was thinking, okay, it was very good. Yeah. I attended that seminar. I was not, there are so many people were producing the paper, research paper. I was not producing any paper anyhow. And I saw the list. I asked the organizer, give me the list, what kind of paper is there? So that in that particular paper, when they will present, I should be definitely present there. Listen. And I saw there, two of the paper were, research paper were on volleyball. I felt it very happy. Okay, this is good. Anybody, at least anybody is producing a paper on the game of volleyball. And when it was one after another in one day, in the middle day, I was sitting in the front. Okay, I was carefully, I was with my notepad and uh, pen, whatsoever is there. Okay, I will note the things of what kind of research they are doing. The first person produced his paper, you will be surprised. His problem for that research was 
physical efficiency difference listen carefully his problem was physical efficiency difference between diabetic and non diabetic volleyball player my god this is the such physical efficiency difference between diabetic and non diabetic volleyball player i asked him about how you wear you got the sample what was the size of your sample where you got the diabetic volleyball player they should be same what was their age whether this is research one when i attended the next fellow research i know their name and the universities and all these things but i am not revealing here i don't want also that is not good thing the second research was how to, i don't know what was the name exactly but his research was how to reduce the broad jump effect in volleyball how to reduce it means what is there what is broad jump we are jumping at one place landing little away that is called broad jump effect so he says aim of the volleyball jumping is to reach high if there will be a broad jump they will land further they, they will reduce the reach it, it will effect upon their performance then how to reduce it what he did that gentleman did listen carefully he pasted extra sole on the front foot on half of the front side front side half of the shoes he pasted extra sole why so that center of gravity of the player will fall back my god and when they will take off jump their center of gravity is falling back they cannot land forward i asked what was the effect on the jump how much jump they reduced or increased yeah. that was not my research my research was only to reduce the broad jump i told that gentleman most of the time we are moving forward if their center of gravity is falling back even in standing position how they can play the volleyball then i asked the organizer why you are accepting these kind of research nonsense paper to produce this is we try to cover all the games there were only two paper in the game of volleyball that's why we recommended and we accepted it that kind of research is going on there in our team so once again friends thank you very much for passionate listening and if ankush uh, rakesh listening anybody and i was told to finish my lecture before uh five minutes before because director will be there for closing concluding of the closing of the this uh, online program but i am not seeing anybody there now rakesh yes sir uh, can i conclude i, I have finished you were telling me that uh, you one second sir one second yeah please or if there is any question and you can tell me also yes sir yes. Ankush. Yes. Yeah, Ankush, direct Sahab is coming or not? Yes, sir. 
Rakesh, sir, is coming. I think. Oh, sir, sir, shuru me aage honge. Shayad agar sir abhi abhi to me aayenge sir shayad. Rakesh. Yes, Angus. Sir, sir, we come now. Sir, we now come. Okay, okay. Sir, was shuru me aage the na, to abhi ni aayenge sir shayad. तक तो सर कोई क्वेश्चन आया नहीं ठीक है एनी डिफरेंस ऑफ क्या बोल रहा है एक कोई एनी डिफरेंस पता थोड़ा सा देखा मेरे को हाँ पहले सर हाँ एनी Any software or website is available in volleyball to evaluate the match analysis. What do you think about okay. the age? Sir, a question here. Uh, what do you think about the age manipulation? This also one reason we are not performing well in senior category. How can we stop this age manipulation? Ah, yeah. uh, very, 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 very interesting and very, very big question. Actually, what I tell you, yeah. reality. I was the part of that team long back in eighty eighty eight. There was one Alexander. Actually, most of the people in Russia is Alexander. Sir, I mean, almost more than sixty percent are Alexander there in Russia. One uh, Alexander, the sports trainer, was here in India. He was given a charge to make a battery of test, a test, physical efficiency test to the Indian players. Catch them young scheme was there as NSSTC or whatever is there different scheme, so that accordingly, if they will fulfill those norms. they will fulfill those norms then they will be able to do something in the olympic league okay he submitted one report i will not say much about that also he submitted one report to the government or you can say the sports authority of india and he says i analyze the physical efficiency of more than 20000 boys and girls between the age group of 10 to 15 year Or 10 to 12 year in all over the india and he found that he submitted a report if a india want to compete in age group then india should reduce the age of their player by 3 year this is very very secret but i am revealing it here why he says a 12 year boy or girls of europe their physical efficiency ability physical ability is equivalent to 15 year boy or if you want to compete with them you have to reduce the thing. it started from it started second thing it spoiled our sport because of the prize money we should not strengthen this one we should think i used to say always to the player if a 17 year boy boris baker when he was can won a wimbledon championship why not the youth so i am totally against and the i am telling you the fact the best correct age in my country is in kerala there is very 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 difficult to do. nobody is reducing the paper it is reduced the kerala is the best one other states also whereas you see that at rich level when i am talking about 
I don't have any any hesitation to speak. The most teach uh, cheater in age category in the Asian level is Iran. When I was playing against them in youth category, that is under 19 years, three of their player was with the balded without any hair. Is it possible in that? They are cheating. China is also the teacher, cheater, very big teacher, uh, cheater. Brazil, so many countries. All. And most fair in the Asian level is Japan. That it is, it is falling really. We are squeezing them in the junior category as the youth category itself also. That's why we are not performing at the senior level. We should also come up with this issue. This was a very good question. Thank you very much. Orankur. How do we improve our ranking in FIVV ranking system in near future? And what are that the reasons the, for that? Was, for, that was my topic. <laughs> Nowadays all, other, nowadays, all other disciplines are following the ranking system. Yes, yes, we have, we have to increase our participation also. That I, I, yeah, he's correctly right here. That he wants that India should participate in more and more number of competition. Yes, it works. It will work. That is also one of the reasons. What formation is better for reception for jump, sir? Now it is. I think we should plan with a three-man receiving system. If and three-man receiving system, what I did with my team, with my experience with the under-23 team, I already explained on the uh, during my first lecture. If you might have listened carefully, that how I switch the player, uh, strengthen the stronger part, and uh, it was and compromise with the portion of the court where the less number of service was about to reach, or less power service is about to reach. But if you want that three players are not enough of your team, you can change it, make it a four. Where is the problem? You can also make it. The only thing is how we can improve. That is, that, is, that is why I was talking today. It is a matter of all research. Who will do the research? Every time the coach cannot do anything. Yes, sir. I think uh, uh, Dalji sir wants to speak, sir, for two minutes. Uh, Rakesh, uh, will you please unmute him? He's coordinator. He's coordinator of the course, I think. So the, let him speak like this. On course, <laughs> Dalji ji ka mic on. Uh, yes. No, not the. Bolo, sir, ho gaya. Uh, not the question of. It is not question of coordination, but just I want to express my deep sense of gratitude to particularly. The speakers like uh, Mr. Siridharan, Mr. Chahan, and Mr. Kumara, because they are having long, long experience with Indian teams. But uh, being in the academics, we coaches working in the Kerala and Bangalore, we just try to refresh the knowledge of the coaches. Maybe given some latest information, but we have tried just to refresh the knowledge of Indian coaches. But uh, I feel all the coaches will definitely benefit the knowledge provided by Mr. Sridharan, Mr. Chauhan, and Kumara since they are attached with the Indian team for a long time. So just I want to express my deep sense of gratitude. You have accept, accepted my request to speak something of, about your experience and your knowledge. So once again, I thanks all the speakers 
and at the same time i congratulate sai headquarters and bangalore center who arranged very beautiful this online coaching course and definitely the all, all the coaches will be benefited and uh, in the future they will also cooperate and learn and it will continue thank you very much one and all okay i'm okay sir. thank you Uh, once again, good luck for the examination on 30th and 31st for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on behalf of everyone, sir, thank you, thank you so much for best wishes for exam. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. Okay. 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 Thank you very much, Jan sir. Thank you. Thank you all, sir. Thank you very much. Really, really. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you.